Hello and welcome. In the last video, we had a discussion about the concept of an explicit prediction. In that, I told you how our environment will look like if we are considering the predictor explicitly. So there is a little modification. Our DUT uh, is there on the right hand side you can see and our environment now consists of the agent which has the monitor component monitor has this analysis port and two other components like a scoreboard and the predict so scoreboard you use is used to uh, compare the captured information okay. and the predictor is used to explicitly update the register database meaning the mirror value value and this scoreboard and predictor both consist of the analysis implementation code on the other hand this monitor has this analysis code okay already i told you the internal structure of the predictor in the last video okay. now let me show you the complete code which consists of the practical implementation of this explicit prediction okay so as you can see over here on the screen uh, all the classes are same till the driver this transaction class this driver class is also same now let me explain you the monitor class so as you know the responsibility of the monitor is to capture the information through the dut using virtual interface right so as a part of this a monitor we have to define this interface as a virtual one because interface is a static component and if you want to make use of this inside the class based verification we have to define it as a virtual as monitor has the analysis port we have to define uvm analysis port parameterized with the type of a transaction and the name for that you can give any name so i am giving here ap analysis port as it is a component class in the uvm based class hierarchy its default constructor expecting uh, two arguments and we have to register with a tick uvm component it is factory registration method okay and here only i am allocating a memory for this analysis port using new construct in the build phase we have to create we have to allocate a memory for this trans object using factory create method and here we are getting the virtual interface using uvm config db get method this is a task in which we are capturing the information so task collect data in task inside this repeat three block the same delay as we gave inside driver and here we are capturing the information through this virtual interface from the dut and we are storing in that trans object using blocking assign so for all the inputs and outputs like write enable address d in india and just we are printing a message using tick uvm info the captured information okay so the message like data sent to scoreboard write enable address d in india and here we are using the write method we have to update uh, using analysis port dot write in that write method we are updating using trans object so that collecting the data into this analysis port okay so this trans object will have all this captured information which we are capturing from the dut through this virtual interface okay so implementation detail this write method we are defining inside this scoreboard class i will explain you that now here in the run phase which is the main phase of the monitor we are calling forever begin block and just calling that collect data task so that collect data is capturing the information through the dut using virtual now the agent class it is just a container for all the three essential components like driver sequencer and monitor so as it is a component class first we have to extend it from uvm agent component factory station macro instances for all three essential components and its default constructor with two arguments as it is a component class in the uvm based class now in the build phase 
we are allocating a memory for all the driver monitor in sequence using factory create method and in the connect phase here we are connection we are making the connection of the driver and the sequencer so driver has this port so driver dot sequence item port dot connect within parenthesis sequencer dot sequence item export so sequencer has this export and driver has this port so this is what the connection we are doing in the connect phase of the agent now the scoreboard class which is extending from UVM scoreboard. Here it has this analysis implementation code. So UVM analysis IMP. In the parenthesis, we have to provide two arguments. One is the transaction class and the scoreboard in which we want to implement the, uh, we want to write the implementation detail. So in the scoreboard class only, we are writing the implementation detail, the write method. This temporary data to store the uh, value. Okay. Then, as it is a component class in the UVM base class hierarchy, we have to register with the UVM component details and its default construct expecting two arguments. And here we are allocating a memory for this analysis implementation code using new construct. Now, this is what the implementation detail virtual function white write method. The input argument is transaction type. And here just we are printing the data received from the monitor analysis port and all write enable address d in d out we are printing first we are checking if write enable is one write enable is high then what we are doing uh, we are writing this d in data into this temporary variable okay. first we are checking if the address is zero then only we are storing this input data into this temporary variable and just printing that input data is store is okay else mean meaning the address if it is not zero then we are printing address is not equal to zero in the else begin block here at line number 371 this else refer to this if the write enable is zero then what we are doing we are checking the address and we are comparing that the, the data which we have stored in this temp data if it is equal to the output data then we are saying the test is pass else the test is fail so very simple and function write method and class is called now the register class is same already we discuss uh, remember whatever the classes we are defining as a part of rel we have to register with tick uvm object details okay all the classes are object in nature in rel so our duty hardware register has a single field we have to define that uvm bridge field and its default constructor now here with single argument name along with the width of the register and no separate coverage here we have to define the build method in which we are creating the field f0 and we are calling the configure method by providing nine arguments okay end function build end class register register block which is extending from uvm bridge take uvm object details the instance of a register default constructor with one argument along with UVM no coverage because we don't want separate coverage for this register block. The build method of uh, this uh, reg block, we have to create the instance of a register using factories create method allocate a memory. Then we are calling the build method of a register and just calling a configure for this instance of a register. Then we have to create a map using default map uh, is equal to create map by providing four arguments in the parenthesis. Then we have to use a rage met method and we have to provide three arguments the instance of a register the offset address and the type of access now the interesting point over here is that right now we are disabling the auto prediction so as you can see in the line number 478 that set auto predict is equal to zero in the parenthesis or you can comment it out this way because we are not uh, you know considering the implicit prediction we are using the explicit predictor in our environment hence we are commenting this line or we are disabling this by providing the argument as a zero just a lock model after lock model no further structural changes can be possible end class reg below now the register sequence which is very simple till this body part the same things okay already we discussed many times here we are defining the status field which is of uvm status e type two variables to store desired and mirrored value variable the same size of the you know it has the same size as the hardware register 
then we are uh, defining two more variables one is to uh, generate the random inputs and another is to read the value from the hardware register readout now here i'm using a repeat block to generate five random values and storing in that random input so random input variable is equal to dollar u random to generate unsigned random values and here i'm using this write method i hope you remember this write method is used to write the specified data into the hardware register okay. so the register block instance dot register instance dot write within parenthesis the status the random input and the front door because we want front door write method the you know access type front door then here just i'm using two i you know get and get mirrored value methods to get the desired value and mirrored value value to update both okay and just printing a message like after front door write the desired and mirrored value variable values for these two variables after that i'm using a read method as you know this read method is used to read the value from the hardware register okay. so register block instance dot register instance dot read within parenthesis status the variable in which we want to read the value from the hardware register remember we have defined that over here read out and the access type is UBM front door. We want front door access. And then we are updating the desired and mirrored value variable using get and get mirrored value method. And just we are printing after front door read method the variables desired and mirrored value. And a task body and class register sequence. Now the adapter class is same already we discussed. So the responsibility of adapter is to convert the register transaction to bus transaction and bus transaction to register transaction. So as a part of this, we have to define two methods. Uh, one is used to reg to bus, which is used to convert the register transaction to the bus transaction and bus to reg method, which is used to convert bus transaction to the register transaction. I'm not explaining this because already we had a discussion about this. Okay. Then the environment class in the last video only we discussed this environment, right? So now the agent and the register block along with this you know uh, uh, register instance a register block adapter and agent along with these three things we have to now define the predictor and the scoreboard okay so predictor we are defining using a UVM bridge predictor based class parameterized with a type of a transaction as it is a component class environment in the UVM based class hierarchy we have to register with tick UVM component details and its default constructor expecting two arguments. In the build phase, we are creating the predictor, agent, the scoreboard, register block, and the adapter also using factory slate method. In the connect phase, actually we are making the connection of the analysis port of a monitor with the analysis implementation port of the scoreboard and the, uh, you know, analysis implementation port of the predictor and the analysis port of the monitor so already we discussed in the last video okay and we are using the set sequencer method and set base address method to provide the sequencer object and adapter object to the map okay right the base class is same just we are defining the instance of the environment over here we are creating that and just we are printing the topology and just we are using here the report phase to provide the test fail or pass message in the test which is also simple here we are defining the register sequence then using uh, here in the run phase we are using raise objection and drop objection and just is starting this register sequence onto the sequencer which is there in the agent of the environment and the top module uh, module top tv we are defining the virtual interface and just making the connection we are instantiating our design okay. and just we are here using a set method for this interface using con uvm config d and then just calling a run test okay by providing a test name over and here we are generating a clock and using dump file in order to see the waveform after running this code you will find that five right transaction we are doing okay let me explain you that so after first write uh, you'll find that 
this right method is there right front door right method both the desired and mirrored value will be updated with the first random value so first random value is 162 as you can see over here hence as you know the write method is used to initiate a write transaction on the DUT you will find a message from the driver that data write is 162 the monitor is capturing that write enable is 1 hence the in is 162 the scoreboard is capturing like the write enable the address and the in is 162 and the store data is 162 as we are defining in the scoreboard okay now you can see after read method front door read method we are reading the content from the hardware register so you'll find the message from the driver that data read is 162 and the monitor is uh, giving the output is 162 right because write enable is zero over here d in is 162 and d out is 162 so monitor is able to capture the information from the hardware register from the dut okay and the scoreboard the data received from the analysis port of the monitor D in is 162 and D out is 162. Both are equal, meaning the stored data and the captured information from the hardware register both are equal. Hence, test is passed over here. You will find. And so on for the next four transactions. You can observe data. Let me show you the waveform for this to understand more. If you analyze the waveform, you will find that it consists of a five you know random inputs as we are using repeat five block so d in is you will find a to 40 then bd then 4b 35 these five random transactions okay as you can see the right enable is high over here okay we are storing the value into this hardware register temp register a to then whenever write enable is high in the next clock cycle we are storing 40 then bd 4b and 35 whenever the write enable is zero in the next clock cycle we are able to see the output on this d output so a to 40 the next you know transaction next out next uh, value then then the next value is bd then 4 b and 35 so this is what the write method is used to store the a value into this hardware register next uh, you know five transaction into this hardware register and while the write enable is zero we are able to see the same value at the output port d out, out. this is what the input value a2 40 bd and so this is what the simple waveform for that so here what we are doing we are using the explicit predictor in our you know environment and we are making the connection in the environment uh, with the analysis port of the monitor and this analysis implementation of this predictor and the scoreboard also we are making the connection in the you know environment already i have discussed that connection in the detail in the previous video in the last video so i'll put a link of that video in the description so that you can go through that video first and then you will find this entire concept easy to understand Okay. so by using this explicit predictor actually we are updating this register database okay meaning the mirror value we are updating okay so as you can see over here after front door read and write you will find that mirrored value will be updated okay so as you can see front door write method is there right after front door write the desired and mirrored value will be updated 162 and 162 whatever we are writing into the hardware list after read method also you'll find both will be updated to one second. so this is what the you know explanation a simple explanation of the explicit predictor remember uh, you know we are in the monitor block we are disabling that set auto predict meaning in the parenthesis we are providing the value zero okay let me show you once that here set auto predict we are disabling that meaning without using this implicit prediction as we are defining the ex explicit prediction in our environment class we are able to update the mirrored value variable as we are defining the predictor over here right? using jvm bridge predict we are able to see the mirrored value updated of using explicit prediction so i will put a link of this code in the description 
so that you can go through with this code and you can play around with this code okay so with this i hope you have understood the concept of this explicit prediction how we are defining that predictor in the our in, in our environment class how we are connecting that with the analysis port of the monitor and how this explicit predictor a predictor you know x is help us to update the register database meaning the mirrored value value okay so i hope you enjoyed this video okay so thanks for watching thank you